If you have any exposure or familiarity with the Old Testament and the New Testament, you might be familiar with these terms, the Old Covenant and the New Covenant. And here in Exodus chapter 24, we see in this chapter, Moses and his team are spending time with God. They're relaying the details of the Old Covenant to the people of God. And there's this affirmation and confirmation of God's covenant with God's people. And in verse three and in verse seven, we see the people's response to this covenant that God desires to make with them. Let's look at that response. Verse three, it says that Moses went down to the people and repeated all the instructions and regulations the Lord had given him. All the people answered with one voice, we will do everything the Lord has commanded. And then in verse seven, it says, he took the book of the covenant, read it aloud to the people, and again, they all responded, we will do everything the Lord has commanded, we will obey. This is the book of Exodus. And as you begin to thumb through Israel's history, as you begin to see the books of history and prophets and law and prophecy, we learn that this covenant was broken by God's people. Now, I wasn't in the crowd that day in Exodus 24. I don't know the tone and the tenor of all that was happening, but I can maybe assume this, that they agreed to follow God, that it's possible that their hearts wanted to, desired to, but here's the challenge. They're unable to fulfill all of God's covenantal agreements. You see, that's why God sent Jesus. Only Jesus, the one who was born of a virgin, perfect, could fully fulfill the laws, the requirements, the covenants of God. You see, the old covenant could never be fulfilled because God, though he is perfect, we people are not and cannot follow through and fulfill all of God's standards. That's why God has issued a new covenant and that covenant Jesus fulfills on your behalf and mine. The Apostle Paul would often write to the early church that we're in Christ, meaning our standing before God is assured because of what Jesus has done. You see here in Exodus chapter 24, you see God's people with the right heart, but not the right follow through throughout the Bible. But on this day, I want you to be reminded of how amazing Jesus is that Jesus came and lived the perfect life, died the perfect death, so that you and I could be in new covenant with God. I am so thankful for Jesus, that he fulfills that which I cannot, that he does that which I'll never be able to do, and that Jesus has instituted a new covenant relationship between God and us that's assured because of his life, death, burial, and resurrection. So today, just fall in love with Jesus. He is so good. And he's the one who fulfills the covenant relationship with God on our behalf. <music>